Hey guys, this is our third lesson, and hopefully you guys know the drill by now, but I'm going to work on the highlighter questions with you guys, and then you guys are going to go ahead and pause the video to finish the rest of the questions, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys the answer key so then you guys could check your work, okay? So let's look at the first page, rotations. So the direction says, describe the rotation of the shape given, okay? So looking at the example, the example has... It has rotated, what, 90 degrees clockwise, right? Okay, so for those who who aren't sure what clockwise and anti-clockwise is, let's revisit the concept, okay? So clockwise is when it rotates to your right. And anti-clockwise is the opposite of that, which means it, it rotates to your left, okay? So knowing that, let's look at number one. So first, let's figure out which way it rotates. Well, it rotates to your left, right? So that means it's going to be anti-clockwise. So that means it's going to be anti-clockwise. And then let's figure out the degrees it rotated. Well, it rotated, can you guys guess? So from here, it went to here. Right? So what degrees did it rotate? Well, if we said 90 degrees, that is correct. Okay? Because from here, because from here, the arrow went to here, right? So that forms a 90 degrees. So our answer is 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation. Okay, how about number two? Well, it has rotated in what direction? Well, it went like this, right? It rotated to your right. So that means it's going to be clockwise rotation. Okay, it's a clockwise, clockwise rotation. And what degrees has it rotated? Well, from here, right? From here, it went to here. Meaning, it rotated 180 degrees, right? Right? So your rotation is 180 degrees clockwise okay so hopefully that made sense um so go ahead and pause the video to work on the rest of the questions and then we're going to move on to shapes so again they give us the example so we got to name the figure the number of sides and the number of right angles okay so looking at number one, what is the figure? Well, hopefully you guys know the name. It is a square, right? And then how many number of si how many how many sides does it have? Well, it has one, two, three, four sides, right? And then how many right angles does it have? Well, you know what right angles are, right? Right. Right angle is when it forms a 90 degree angle, okay? So how many does it have? Well, it has one, two, three, and four, okay? So it has four right angles. Okay, let's look at number two. Can you guys guess what it is? Well, it has how many sides? One, two, three, four, five sides, right? So it must be a pentagon. Okay. And then how many right angles does it have? Well, does it form any 90 degrees? Does it? No, it doesn't, right? 
because 90 degrees, it's, it's larger than 90 degrees, right? It's an obtuse angle, so there are, so there are, I'm sorry, there are zero right angles, okay? So again, pause the video, finish the page, and let's move on to solid figures. So the direction says, identify these solid figures using the terms from the box. It says not all terms are used. So not all terms are used, okay? So number one. Any guesses? It is a cylinder. Okay, and then um, go ahead and finish the rest. And let's move on. Means and medians, okay. So a mean is the average, is the average of a set of data. And the median is the middle number Okay, and an order set of data, okay? So how do you get a mean? How do you get the average? It's the sum divided by the number of, the number of um, the set of data. Okay, so then so then let's look at number one. So number one, the mean. So first you have to get the sum of these three. So you have to do five plus 15 plus 10, okay? Which equals, what does it equal? It equals 30, right? Mm -hmm. And then now since you got the sum, you have to divide it by three. Why? Because you have three numbers. There are three numbers in a set. So you do 30 divided by three and it equals 10. So you have a mean of 10. And then let's find the median. Let's list it from the smallest to the largest. Okay. What's the middle number? Ten. So your median and mean is ten. Okay. Let's look at number six. So again, to find mean, you have to get the sum first. So nine plus fifteen plus twenty one plus eighteen. Oh, plus two. Okay. All divided by what? How many numbers are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, right? So all divided by five. And that is 13, okay? Okay, then how about the median? What's the middle number? Well, again, let's list it from the smallest to largest. So it's two, nine, 15, 18, and 21, okay? So what's in the middle? 15's in the middle. So your median is 15, okay? So hopefully that wasn't too hard to go ahead and work on it. And then let's move on to word problems. So I picked number five because it was the longest. So let's look at number five. So it says Cody has 150 toy cars stored in baskets. He has three baskets in total 
and the toy cards are stored equally, right? It's stored equally in each basket. Okay, so let's do that. So he has 150 toy cards in three baskets. So there's one, two, three baskets, right? And then it's it's what? It's equally stored. So that means there's 50 in one basket, 50 in the other, and 50 in the last one. So let's continue reading. So it says, he took one basket, okay, and gave his first friend 21 toy cars. So he gave away 21 toy cars and his second friend 19 toy cars. Okay, so he took, let's say he took this basket, this one basket, and then he gave away 21 to his first friend and 19 to his other friend. How many dolls are left in that basket? So we just got to simply do 50 minus 21 minus 19. Okay. Minus 21, minus 19. So, if you do the math, it is 10. So you have 10 toy cards left. Okay? So, finish the word problems. And here is your answer key. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't too hard. And see you guys next week. Bye.